Namde Kano was criminally abducted from Kenya, lawyer says, as accuses AGF Malami of terrorism. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. In your final statement on Wednesday said that AGF and its accomplices had flagrantly violated both Nigerian and international laws. The Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, has been accused of terrorism. The accusation was made today by Ifani Ijofo, the lead counsel to Namde Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. Ijofo, in a statement on Wednesday, said the Attorney General of the Federation and his accomplices had flagrantly violated both Nigerian and international laws for the manner in which the extradition and rendition of his client, Namde Kano, was handled thus. Thus, committing an act of terrorism under the same law they had violated. The statement read, The Honorable Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami's son, is aware of the existence of this Nigerian Extradition Act, CAPE 25, Laws of the Federation 2004, particularly the compelling provision of Section 15 of this Extradition Act. Yet, he proceeded on a gross violation of this law to participate in the criminal abduction of Mazi Namde Kano from Kenya and extraordinary renditioned him to Nigeria, instead of subjecting him to this extradition proceedings as also mutually provided under Kenyan laws. It therefore further questioned why Kanu's extradition process was different from that of a suspended Deputy Commissioner of Police, Abal Kiyari, saying Kanu was not afforded the same treatment Kiyari received. Having been subjected to extradition proceedings before a court of law, pertinent to note that the same Attorney General of the Federation, AJF, also subjected and also Personal to know that this same AGF also subjected a disgrace and suspended ACP Abakiyari, DCP Abakiyari, to the same extradition proceedings before the Nigerian court. So, why was Namde Kano not afforded the same opportunity before he was forcefully venditioned to Nigeria? The law is now settled that the Attorney General of the Federation and his accomplices committed the very acts of terrorism. The law is now settled that the Attorney General of the Federation and his accomplices committed an act of terrorism under their own very law for the manner in which they violated international laws with impunity and the forceful abduction and rendition of Mazin Namde Kanu to Nigeria. It is to be noted also that Mazin Namde Kanu is by virtue of the provisions of another Nigerian law under Section 23 of the Terrorism Prevention, Amendment and Prohibition Act 2022, a victim of terrorism. Abubakar Malami San is equally aware of the provisions of this law. In a Sena and civil society, the Attorney General of the Federation and his accomplices would be in the prison cooling off for their flagrant violation of the Nigerian laws which constitute an act of terrorism. However, and most unfortunately, we are in a country of anyhowness, where anything goes. Onyendu Mazin Namde Kano's freedom is sacrosanct, and the hour has come, no going back. This is not the first time we are coming out to hear that, you know, laws are being violated. Of course, everyone knows now, but the thing is, just like, you know, the writer said, just like the writer said, huh? things happen anyhow in this country. Nigeria is a very lawless country. And we know this. Nigeria is a lawless country where anything goes. That is why, most especially those who find it difficult to live abroad, they will tell you, say, if you get money for Nigeria, just get money, have money, and have little connection. You're good to go because we are so lawless. We don't take things. We don't follow things through. We don't, we don't know. People do, the law is just there just for, for decoration of, you know, ink and paper on, on the a, on a, on a ink on paper. That's all. They don't follow these laws, and particularly, and so um, it's it's not really something new. We have known this from the onset. We have known this from the very beginning that um, this man 
but he was not brought in in a very lawful manner. And everything, almost everything, it is glaring that, you know, his fundamental rights, nobody's listening to him, that the fact that he actually, you know, uh, they're capitalizing on the fact that he ran away. And nobody's saying anything about how he was attacked, how he was almost killed in his home without, you know, any warrant or thereabout. And at the end of the day, he had to run, you know. Nobody is definitely listening to that part of the story, no matter how they tell it over and over and over again. But I will say this, Nigeria should know that the whole world is watching them on this particular month issue. They have attracted the world's eyes to Nigeria. And I just hope that they don't at the end of the day. I just hope that at the end of the day, they don't get us into trouble. Okay. I do not think... I do not know who makes Malami a son. That guy is a prominent military from the Northwest, incoherent and incompetent person impersonating a son. They gave Abba Kiyari preferential treatment with foods and luxury, while by goated and tribalistic Buhari and Malami treat Khan with drastic measures. Well, this is what happens when you do not treat the same crime in all the geopolitical zones of a country the same way. <laughs> As a leader, you must be very careful. The most fraud with caution, no matter what. But what do we see here? They're very careless. Even if you want to sh want to show somebody love, that like the person is a brother, they don't even care on you know how these people would feel. They don't do it for their brother and do it for you know another geopolitical zone or another region. They do it anyhow, and it's actually not fair. These are one of the things that is funny, you know, this cessation, agitation for cessation, and the sunny, um, the disunity among Nigerians. All right. Kanu is a big criminal and he's not going to be free. Igbo people are back in a while. His boys kills everybody, including their brothers. His boys kill their own people and some people still want him free. If him like, make him die. And this is coming from a northerner that is enjoying all the activities of a terrorist, right? Make we they use our, make we they, make we they, they considerate if we talk. And let us learn to remove sentiment whenever we're giving opinions on issues like this. I beg. All right. If Malami and his co are wrong and have committed international crime, what stop you from taking action all this while? Let justice prevail and Mazin Abdi cannot be freed with immediate effect. Well, my dear, <laughs> you said make a who take action. At the end of the day, I've told the people that yeah, we, are on our, we are on our own. <laughs> Nobody's coming to save us as a nation. I don't tell them that before I be. These people are not coming up. They're not coming anytime soon to save us. All right. People like Malami have shot reigning on earth. After his tenure as AGF, nobody will hear about him again. Are you really serious? <laughs> God. The only criminal the United Nations commanded, command your... The only criminal the United Nations command Nigeria to be released in the next six months. Oh, okay. Did anybody know why Kenya president lost his thesis? It's because of Fernando de Cano. The God of Nam de Kano and Biafra removed him from the seat for collaborating with the with Nigeria to arrest Nam de Kano. Did you know why there's no peace in Nigeria? It is because of Nam de Kano. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't think so, Sha. All right. Kudos, Barisha Jofo. We are living in a lawless country, of course, and society. But there is no shame, more so a country led by Fulanese from the footage of vultures in Guinea. Well, I just hope that in a very, in no distant time, that in no distant from now, time from now, Nigeria will be a better country where laws are going to be laws and laws will be treated the same way they're treated in each and every geopolitical zone of a country. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for sending me to listen. And so I come, you win next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.